So I was trying to develop this way of life that incorporated on your throne, Lord. Well, that's a good sign. But we're going to lecture the heck out of her first. Because <clears throat> anybody that knows me, they'll be like, the Lord will let you learn and then he'll lecture you and then he'll welcome you home. Everybody pretty much knows that about me. Amen. <clears throat> My wife sent me this email. I want to make my other half happy. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. And if it's not you right there, the Holy Spirit just said she hasn't learned. She didn't get it. <clears throat> When my wife chose a separation after fasting and me and the Holy Spirit had already told her, you're not just divorcing your husband, you're divorcing God. Like think about what you're doing. <clears throat> and then um, the Holy Spirit had me sleeping in a van but I was near her and I was happy about that. Lord, you were happy sleeping in a van. Well, it was cold and I got heavenly hijacked and then lectured that guy. But uh, not too much, no, but <laughs> we were together. I was working on my marriage. I was really um, happy in my marriage despite the um, lack of what it could have been at the time. We kept running into all of these um, attributes that come with hell. Because the first thing that happened was she was in the wrong place. And I had made videos for years about leading her out of there because I was saying, babe, you're setting us up for failure when we come together. So we were in the wrong place, which means she's not gonna get, I'll say that again, we were in the wrong place. We were in the wrong place, which means she's not going to get the full benefit of what happens when you're actually walking with me in the spirit. And I feel like enough has happened to where now I can speak to her and she can actually hear me. Before she, um, had a tug of war going on. There was me and the Holy Spirit trying to pull her to our side, the devil and people she knew pulling her back to that side. So, <clears throat> and a lack of trust, a huge lack of trust and a porcelain shaped heart that kept getting broken. And she didn't understand that me and the Holy Spirit were trying to teach her the way for her, um, role in my kingdom however she wanted to look at it however you guys want to look at it at the minimum i'm the messiah so <clears throat> either way a lot of people have approached me like i'm a normal christian and i've looked at them i'm your high priest and they're like right there i'm just out i can't accept that then don't The Holy Spirit, hearing comes from what? The word of God. Faith comes from hearing, right? So if God had warned her not to separate. She chose separation. She took her wedding ring off right there. The Holy Spirit is already getting it's a uh, wrath kindled. <clears throat> so we decide to um, come back together and work on our marriage. But all of the things that happened during the separation, now I have all these thoughts and I'm seeing things and 
the Holy Spirit's telling me nothing happened. Don't worry about it. And I've got visuals where I'm like, okay. If it wasn't for my training and how well I know the Holy Spirit, it would have really messed with me. So at that point, I just emotionally shut down. And I was like, no more of this. We're getting out of this city. <clears throat> so her whole... Um, whoever the Lord leads me to statement, Holy Spirit was like, she's still not getting it. She's married. She's already married. She's not going to be led to anyone else. So then I was trying to um, get her back into God's will. But so much had occurred where I was saying, you're willingly choosing the devil. Let me delve into why. And then per her own words, I was confused and I get all that. We wanted to make sure it didn't happen again before we came back together. I'm being told to leave it at that. <clears throat> That's your truth, babe. So this is the finish line. When she gets here, she'll be home. That's what the Holy Spirit has been telling me every single day. She knows where the finish line is. Then she'll receive even more of the benefits of the Holy Spirit. And she'll get ready for her wedding that God had planned for her before the creation of this earth. So it benefits no one if I'm not myself. And the Holy Spirit was telling me, why are you trying to impress people that you don't even know? So my Nazarene side... <clears throat> Trying to blend that with the clean cut Christian side was what I was trying to do. And the Holy Spirit has a huger plan of incorporating, okay, you both like music. I want to use that. You both love helping people. I want to use that in its season. So first she has to learn how to get her own food from your prophets. So we've been teaching her that. So what I'm saying to my kingdom spouses with, um, all the love in my heart, you need to really be nurturing your prodigal because your prodigal is not strong enough to do it on their own. So whatever pride you have, and a lot of it was people just didn't want to admit they were wrong. That does not benefit you. Of course you were wrong. You are not me. You are not expected to be right. I know the beginning from the end. I know how it ends. I know the life I have for you. You're momentary because what I've been feeling is some of you are heading into that depression I was talking about. And I'm saying, mm -mm. I told my wife <clears throat> uh, months back, I said, babe, I found a team that can win. I'm playing for another team my prophets that I've been walking with. It's all about, is God in your everyday life? I love you.